pretty cool out here. Still a chance of rain, but we'll uh, probably uh, be all right. I'll go too far away. Okay, doing about 25, heading into the wind, and uh, about 333 feet in the air. And we're just uh, taking it easy. Drifts are up at three. No hurry. Uh, John is here from Florida, and uh, he's flying. We're flying out of West Lafayette. We were going to fly out of Graham, but uh, decided because of the weather and the area that uh, this would probably be the same, uh, this would be better. So John stayed out in this area for the day, and we'll head over to Graham tomorrow, and maybe up in Amish country the uh, day after. Going to probably take a look at the radar on and off just to keep an eye on any rain that might uh, start moving in. But uh, mostly it looks like it's breaking up. Weather's coming from the west. That's where it normally comes. Except in the winter, we get northeasterly. That brings the cold snow. All right, I got a. Uh, a quiz question for today. If you're out flying and you run into some rain, we'll say light rain, and not a downpour, but light rain, what steps do you take if you run into rain? Bonus round, question number two for $1,000. If you have an engine out, what steps do you take immediately? Six hundred feet above the ground, it doesn't seem that high. I think my height above ground is is off. Five hundred and twenty five feet above ground, twenty seven miles an hour. We're heading east. If we keep going this way, we're gonna end up in Pittsburgh. And we're just uh, cruising. Clouds are breaking up pretty good. Just going to follow John around today, let him do some sightseeing. Sometimes when you follow people around or, yeah, when you follow people around, you don't know where they're going and they cut here and they cut there and, and you're, uh, you spend more time trying to chase them down than you do, uh, than, you know, enjoying your flight. But uh, in this case, I've been over here all over the place and, and, uh, I don't think he can outrun me.
kind of interesting. He's, he's following the same path that we followed a couple of weeks ago through here. And, uh, and pretty much like a maze, a corn maze or something, everybody follows the path, paths. And so he's following the paths of the open, open field. So that's what takes it through here for the most part. That's my guess. So for the Jeopardy bonus round, do you think that's what he's doing? For 500 points, is John following the path of least resistance? He's chasing the, uh, looks like a whole bunch of uh, geese down there. Yeah, the corn smells real good. None of this corn is a sweet corn. It's all uh, basically uh, corn they crush up, feed to the uh, the cattle and the pigs. Field corn. Yeah, I'm going to let John go ahead and head over there. And I'll stay over here on the right-hand side. Maybe he'll come over this way here in a little bit. There's some pretty interesting things over here. Maybe he'll uh, come over here. Got these people waving over here. We'll go over here and fly over them. Okay, got us some pumpkins down here. Got the big pumpkin patch. I don't know if you can see the orange over here on these things or not. Should be able to see the uh, bunch of pumpkins right here. That's a picking machine over here. Over here and pick us a couple pumpkins. Got my speedy shoes on today. Got plenty of pumpkins. Getting ready for Halloween. flying for about 30 minutes. I don't know John's got about a, an hour's worth of fuel. Maybe an hour and ten. So uh, I want to keep an eye on him and get back. We're about uh, 3.7 miles back from the runway. So we're not too far. Looks like high school golfing out here. It's like girls league or the girls uh, high school. Got 
a deer out there running in the field. That's a buck. He's got a rack on him. Yeah, we're heading, not for the buck, we're heading for between this tree here, but he happened to be heading this way, so we'll just say hi to the buck. Hello, buck. There you, he laid down. Oh, he rolled down. Not sure if he rolled down, he laid down what he did there. He's heading that way. So we can move some altitude here and drop and drive through the right down here in the corn. Oh, there's a deer coming right at us. That's that buck. Oh, turn around and go the other way. There he goes. He goes through the corn. Oh, there's bucks down here. Had a crosswind when we took off. Wasn't too bad. Just got to time it just right. <laughs> 